I am thrilled to show you Swift Playgrounds, an incredible new app that transforms how kids learn to code. I'll launch it right now. We land on this gorgeous screen full of custom content from Apple. Up at the top are lessons, and down below we have challenges. I'm going to start with the very first lesson in the fundamentals of Swift. We see a preview of the content with graphics and a description, and I'll open it. It starts with an introduction to the coding concept I'll be learning, and when I'm good and ready, I can just tap in the lower corner to start coding. Over on the right, you can see we have an interactive world that I can explore using touch. I'll swipe it, looks good, and pinch to zoom. This is Byte. He's my character. I think he's irresistible, and I'll be controlling him with code. Over on the left are instructions that explain and help guide me through the problem I'll be solving. And down below is where I enter my code. Byte's been waiting patiently, so I'll tap to enter Swift code. You can see commands have appeared at the bottom. These are just like quick type suggestions, but for code. My objective in this lesson is to get him to the end of that path and collect the gem. So I'll tap move forward three times and then collect gem. Watch the world on the right as I run my code. Byte moves forward, he follows the commands in the exact order I've entered, gets the gem, and I've completed my very first lesson. Now, I can continue to the next lesson in the series, or I can jump around to wherever I'd like. To do that, I tap in the top left to open the table of contents, and you can see we include a ton of great content here to engage and motivate learners. This one on loops, looping all the sides, looks a little interesting. I'm going to check it out. Now, we have a few lines of code already filled in. I'll go ahead and run it and see what happens. Byte moves forward. He gets the gem. But then he just stops. Aw, poor little guy. He's going to need some help. Uh, the solution here, and I know you've all got this, is that I need to repeat that block of code four times to get byte around all four sides of the world. To do that, I'm going to need a for loop. I'll tap the plus up top to open my code library, and all I have to do is just drag a for loop right into my code. Now, watch this. I can tap that loop, grab the end of it, and just drag it all around my code. All right, I'll tap the number placeholder, set this loop to repeat four times, looks good. Okay, keep your eyes on Byte as I run my code. He moves forward, gets the gem, makes a turn, and this time with the added for loop, he just keeps on going. I've finished another lesson, and I'm well on my way to mastering loops.